All right, so our first candlestick pattern, okay, is called the doji, right? Let's go over this candlestick pattern because it's one of the most commonly used ones and it's also one of the most famous ones. Uh, I'm sure you might have heard of this. If not, then uh, let's, let's go over it, right? So a doji, right, is a candlestick pattern that looks like this, okay? And the reason it looks like this is because uh, the way it is formed, right? Now, generally you will see dojis like this, okay, where the opening price is equal to the closing price. But uh, you might also see sometimes where the opening is very close to the closing, right? They're almost equal. Uh, so both, both are, you know, uh, qualified as dojis right now the definition of a doji is simply that uh, you know the opening and the closing are the same or about the same and that they are equidistant from the the high and the low so they're usually right in the center okay so as we know this is our opening price right this is the closing okay this is the high and that's the low right so generally what happens in a doji is let's say price opens here and then uh, you know it starts going down it starts going down and it makes this low right it makes this low price here then it starts to come back up starts to go back up and it goes up and makes this high right and then again it comes back comes back down and then it closes right here at the closing right so you can see the price is simply just going you know up and down it's not going anywhere right there's simply a fight going on between the bulls and the bears right that is that is exactly what is happening here there's a fight going on between the bulls and the bears and clearly nobody is winning the battle nobody's winning the war okay so that brings us to uh, the definition of a doji, which basically means indecision. So when you look at a doji candle, uh, you know, immediately you should think, okay, there's some indecision going on in price now, right? Neither the bulls or the bears are winning and uh, they are fighting, right? They're in a battle, in a tug of war to decide uh, where to take the trend, right? So... It can also mean loss of momentum like suppose you know bulls are taking price up in a nice uptrend and then at the top of the trend you get this doji okay so this indicates that there's some loss of momentum in the trend right bulls are taking a break uh, or you know there's a pause in trend right now dojis are known for trend reversal okay so generally they, they, they can uh, be used as trend continuation patterns as well, right? But generally, you know, you would look at them as trend reversals, okay? And uh, keep one thing in mind, guys. We want to identify dojis only when we're at the top of the trend or at the bottom most of the trend, right? Not in between. Okay, let me let me show you what I mean. Let's say if price is just trading sideways like this, Right, and, and you see uh, a doji forming here. Okay, this is not where I want to pay attention to the doji. Right, so where do I want to see the doji? Right here, like let's say we're going in a nice uptrend, price is going up, and uh, you get a doji formation at the top. Okay, that time you need to be cautious, you need to be alert, uh, because two things can happen. One, price may reverse from there. Okay. Or two, price can continue moving up, right? So this does give us opportunities to trade, right? Uh, especially depending on where the doji forms on, on the chart, okay? Uh, which we'll look at uh, a bit later. But uh, for now, we just need to keep in mind that if there's a nice uptrend and a doji forms at the top, be cautious, right? Because there may be some profit booking or a trend reversal from there. And 
if we're in a nice downtrend and price is just going down, 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 and then you see a nice doji form, then again, you need to be cautious because you might see a trend reversal or you may even see trend continuation. What, whichever it is, you need to be cautious. Okay. And another thing, never trade doji uh, on a standalone basis. What I mean by that is uh, use multiple factors like, like we learned uh, confluence right uh, use multiple signals to to take a trade not just you see a doji and then you know uh, you trade that right and we'll look at other candlestick patterns that we can combine to make a good uh, to get a good trading signal okay so let's quickly look at some uh, chart examples of uh, doji and and how it works right so i'm just taking nifty for an example and this is the daily time frame Okay, uh, now see here guys. So you can see that this was a nice uptrend from here, right? Price was going up nicely. And then at the top of the trend, look what we got. A beautiful doji, right? And this was a trend reversal doji, right? And see how price reversed right after. Okay, uh, you can see this doji here as well. This is somewhat a doji. Okay, we can call it, it's an indecision candle. So, uh, right, you can see the trend reversal happen after that as well, right? Let's look at some other ones. See this one. So you can see this nice uptrend price going up and then you get this small doji here. Okay, this is a, another candlestick pattern as well, which uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll discuss. Right, so we have this doji here and see the trend reversal after that. Okay, you can see here price coming down nicely and then you get this doji here indicating indecision. This is also somewhat a doji. We can call this a spinning top as well, which is another candlestick pattern. But, uh, you know, can you guys see that it is indicating indecision? Price opens here, goes up, and then comes down, and then goes back up, right? So there's a fight going on. So a lot of indecision. Another doji here indicating indecision, right? And then you see the trend reversal. Again here, you see the small uptrend, right? And then doji and trend reversal, okay? You will see numerous, numerous examples. Now see this, guys, right? In this case, why will I avoid this? Because, I mean, we have a doji here. We have a doji here. And we even have this doji here, right? But it's in a sideways kind of a trend, right? Can you see the trend? It's in a sideways kind of a trend. So we want to avoid dojis uh, in these kind of trends, in sideways trends. Uh, see this beautiful one, right? Nice uptrend, doji at the top, and then beautiful trend reversal. Okay, again, you see this nice downtrend here and uh, you see this beautiful doji and see the reversal, right? Uh, let's see if there are any more. Yep, yeah, you can see this. So Nifty was in a nice long uptrend and uh, we got this doji here, doji here, right? Right at the top of the trend and then see the nice reversal thereafter. Okay, so you can see this on numerous charts, right? Uh, this was on the daily time frame. We can use this even on intraday, which we will look into uh, in a bit. All right, so this was the first candlestick pattern, doji. Very, very important, okay? Uh, you need to know this. Whenever you see a doji, just remember indecision and alert, right? That's it. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.